Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been slammed over climate hypocrisy while Princess Kate has been praised for her low-key appearance at an event on the same day. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex were criticised for taking a gas-guzzling seven-car convoy around a single block on Tuesday that travelled just 200 feet in New York City to attend an event to mark World Mental Health Day. On the same day, Princess Kate addressed a crowd at an event in Birmingham to also mark World Mental Health Day, where she was also joined by Prince William. Royal family correspondent and author Michael Cole made comparisons between the public appearances of Meghan and Kate when asked on GB News if the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were guilty about climate hypocrisy, or is it all about safety? He joked, the last time I saw a convoy like that was at Elvis Presley's funeral when there were 11 Cadillacs, including his hearse, and I was there reporting on it in Memphis in 1977. But he added on Harry and Meghan, this is really quite awful. Hypocrisy upon hypocrisy. The last time the Sussexes were in New York, we had this great tale of the two-hour chase through the streets of Manhattan. At the same time as the Meghan was appearing in her off-the-shoulder beautiful outfit, the Princess of Wales was doing her own bit for World Mental Health Day in a much more low-key, much more studied and much more appreciated way. That's the difference between the two of them, and it is up to the people to judge which they prefer. On Tuesday, Harry and Meghan left a garage near the Equinox Hotel in Hudson Yards in New York as they made their way to the World Mental Health Day Festival as part of an appearance for their charity, the Archwell Foundation. They took a left turn on 33rd Street in accordance with the one-way street only to end up at another garage 200 feet up the road. Their huge convoy of blacked-out SUVs was flanked by NYPD escorts on the streets of Manhattan, according to Mail Online. Harry and Meghan appeared to be taking a series of stringent steps to boost safety as it was their first joint appearance in the city since May following their near-catastrophic car chase with paparazzi after attending the Women of Vision Awards. But the couple who have regularly spoken about the importance of protecting the environment, came under fierce attack from critics on social media. Meanwhile, Princess Kate made a public address in Birmingham to mark World Mental Health Day. She was joined by William for an engagement in partnership with BBC Radio One and charity organisation The Mix that saw them host a public forum for young people about exploring our emotional worlds. But unlike Harry and Meghan, there was no sign of a huge convoy accompanying them to the event.